Okay, good God. Now instead of toilet paper, we have a national printer ink shortage. Really? That's a thing? Just got another YouTube short done and um, after our walk I have oops let's see how many steps do I have 6711 it's what three quarters of the way to 10,000 so yay so if by the time the Super Bowl's over I don't have 10,000 then maybe I'll do laps around the house or maybe we'll go out for a walk again I don't know we'll see um, I got all the painty papers ironed and the YouTube short for it is filmed. I'll give you all a sneak peek. There you go. There you go. Gotta watch the short. Um, computer is off and chili is warming. Dishes are done. Laundry is working. I need to go start getting the appetizers ready. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't film any of this afternoon because we were having too good of a time, but we had three of the four kids come over and we ate some really good food and had a really good time and some really great conversations, tried a couple of new recipes of things that people approved of, and the chili was good and not too spicy, yay, Brian took some extra home, yay, <laughs> um, he made some cornbread, which he had brought over, and um, that was really good. And so he took some chili home, but we kept some of his cornbread. So, um, yeah, so it was a good time. I am short of my 10,000 steps by about 1,500 or so steps. So despite the fact that it's after 8 o'clock, I think Bob and I are going to go on a quick little walk around the block a couple of times and get the extra steps in. It's garbage night, so we've got to get the garbage out and clean up the kitchen and all of that stuff. I had coffee, so I am wide awake. <laughs> So I still have to do today's journal pages, but that's okay. Um, Cause yeah, um, I also got my order in of some t Strathmore toned tan paper. Now I have had and do use the toned tan drawing paper. I love it. I have toned gray and toned tan. I knew the toned paper came in drawing paper. I didn't know any of the toned series of paper came in mixed media paper. And it is thick. It is 184 pound mixed media paper. Toned tan and toned gray I knew about. I had before. I got one of each of those pads. I want to say I've heard of the tone blue, but I never had it before today. So hold on. So this is toned tan. This one is toned gray. Only the exciting one for last. This is toned blue. But where the heck have I been that I didn't know they have? Are you ready? Toned black. Black. And again, 184 pound. It is thick. It is like thick watercolor paper. I'm going to make some journals out of it. We're going to do some experimenting with it. I'm excited to try some of the other work I've been doing on the paper with a colored background. So look for videos on that coming up soon. I'm gonna go get some shoes on and get some more steps in before I can sit on the couch and relax for the evening. I'll be back. Good morning, happy peoples, as they say on the Summers in Alaska channel. It is just after 10 a.m. and I'm headed over to Michael's and Staples. I've got to get steps in, but I also have a couple errands I need to run. So I'm gonna go do them and then go home and do smart. So I will be right back. Okay, so I got out my Zutter book binding punch and I turned all of the paper, the mixed media paper that I got in the different colors and um, some white watercolor paper and then a couple pieces of chipboard into a journal. And um, so every other piece of colored paper and then white and then colored paper, and then white. You get the idea. So we've got the toned tan, toned
toned gray, toned blue, and black, toned black, mixed media, Strathmore mixed media paper in here. And when I was getting out the Zutter um, bind it all, um, I have an old Zutter bind it all. I had two different uh, kits of book binding tools, different tools in each kit. And um, I don't know why I did. So I took the other one apart and put everything in here in this Zutter kit. It's a, actually a really cute little case. Yeah. Zip, look cute little zip case. It comes filled with some of these tools. Like all of these tools were already in here. I added the thread and some book binding needles that were in the other kit that I found. I also added this pokey tool that I found from the other kit, but the um, X-Acto knife, spare blades, and the tape measure came with this kit, along with the scissors, the wire cutters, and the pliers. There's this like bodkin type needle. I don't know why this is in here, but we're gonna leave it in here for the, for the minute. And yeah, so we made, took the two and made it into one. I'm gonna put the old little envelope style case in the purge box for next month. And I found two two punches I didn't know I had. Hang so on. when I'm corner rounding chipboard and different things for journals, I do have a big like stand punch. Um, I got it on clearance from uh, Canvas Corp when they were clearancing out a bunch of old stuff from the companies they acquired. Um, and it works really good, but I forgot completely. And I have a couple of Creative Memories quarter rounders, which work really great for single layer papers. I forgot I had these completely. These are the Zutter, Zutter quarter rounders. These do multiple layers of paper, really thick paper. They do a really great job. They're metal punches. They're very heavy. I don't know why they were in the bind tool, the uh, book binding box, because... I don't I completely forgot they were even over there. So I don't know. I think they should be in a box that says <clears throat> punches, don't you? So, so they're in the box that says punches. Oh, holy cow. I do want to say too that when I was cleaning out the trash part of the Zutter bind it all, where the the little punch punches come out, the waste, waste, punch waste, um, I was going to throw it away and I thought, how interesting would that be mixed with some matte medium? It might be pretty cool. So I am going to save it for the minute and we'll see. I also, when I was out today for very inexpensive, I got an A6 planner cover and I updated my coupon binder. Yes, I do still coupon. Yes, I have a coupon binder. So this on. is an A6 planner cover. It came with some things, but I took most of them out. I put, there's card slots on this side, but I put a small pad of paper. This is one of the plastic dashboards that came in here, and I put some paper clips and a binder clip on the top in case I want to clip coupons in. I have some clear plastic pockets that I have labeled into different product groups, or this one's this store, to put the coupons in. And then that first one is all food things, non-food household things. Oh, in fact, household is upside down. That's pretty funny. I didn't even notice until just now. Um, there's another dashboard, and then we have office and other coupons. And then in the back, I cut this piece of chipboard, put a binder clip on top so I could put it in one of the back pockets. So I have like a dashboard that I can put the grocery list on to cross things off and write things on when I'm at the store. And a pen, constantly without a pen at the store. So now everything's in one place and that will make it much easier, I hope. Anyway. Hey guys, it is just after 1.30, Tuesday, February 9th, I think. I spent the morning on YouTube Live. Ooh, bright sun. It's probably the last of that we're gonna get for a few days. We have a storm front coming in. Lunch. I got working on. Uh, a new painting exercise, that's what I can say. It has to do with the class that I'm teaching in June. So I'm working on doing my part of the painting exercise and creating some images of work that I can share in a Facebook group that'll be coming. Anyway, we might be getting some snow. Not tomorrow, when, uh, Thursday through Sunday. Um, we're getting a cold front with possible snow. We'll see if that actually happens or not. But in the meantime, I need to get steps today. We really don't need a lot of groceries. We could probably wait until like Tuesday 
to get groceries. We are almost out of a couple things that normally are what we would go get like on Saturday. But if it really does snow, I don't necessarily want to go out in the snow to the grocery store. So I'm going to go walk down to the grocery outlet and pick up those couple of things and then come home. <clears throat> so I'm cleaning out said salvage bin, which I talked about earlier, and I'm replacing what was in that bin before with all of my jelly printing and stamping tools, which I think will be better than having them in a closet over there because I'll, they're easier to get to and use. Um, most of what was in the bins is now going to be in the small bits bank or on top of the small bits bank until I get it used up um, or decide I don't want to keep it anymore. Um, but there's nothing like going through <laughs> the bins, finding a set of stamps. You did never, ever know you had. I don't know where, I don't know where this came from. I stuck a label to the back of it, but it's a lawn fawn stamp. I have no idea. So I'm going to put it in the purge box. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. Uh, there was some trash in the salvage bin that is truly trash and needs to go away. So I have to take care of that and relabel some things. I also had a whole bunch of these, which I picked up at one of the art salvage shops. And I don't remember if it was one here on the West Coast or one on the East Coast, but it was one of the ones I went to. And I always meant to like glue them together to make a mark making tool with, kind of like I, how I did the bottle, uh, the paper's caps. And so I, I forgot all about them. So we're gonna plug the hot glue gun in and we're gonna do that today. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I take it back. I took the bits that were up on top of the small bits bank down that were on top of the drawers. I didn't like it. I put them away some more and just got rid of some things. I looked at it and went, I don't need that. I haven't used that small bit or piece or large bit or piece since before I moved. I ain't gonna use it now, it can go. So uh, everything is relabeled and clean and neat and just the way I like it. I can find stuff real easy. It's a good thing. All right, good so morning. It's 9.36 a.m. or so, Wednesday, February 10th. You see that? The pack is back. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. <laughs> so anyway. They were waiting out there this morning for me to bring them some apples or something. So, yeah. Um, a little tired this morning, having trouble getting motivated to get going. Uh, my asthma was kind of on me this morning. So anyway, I finally got up and took my meds and that's helped a lot. So now we're gonna head upstairs, check on the social media stuff, the YouTube channel, figure out what projects we're gonna work on today, finish, catch up on, all of that stuff. Um, I don't have to film today, but I might, so we'll see. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, it's still Wednesday. I don't know what time it is. This is what I call the big closet. It's a, it's a mess. Y'all think my studio's neat and organized and so pretty. I'm still a hoarder at heart. I'm an artist and crafter and creative, and this is my mess. <laughs> So I need some cleaning today. There's some things I don't want to get rid of, but um, there's some things I could get rid of. I do stick with the bin system, or I try to, even in here, because I am the kind of person that otherwise I'll just fill up this entire closet so you can't get in the closet with stuff I think I need to keep for someday. Don't do the someday. <laughs> keep, uh, so have a designated spot that you keep things when that bin is full or that box is full, then you need to use it up or lose it. That's what I try to do. So we're gonna work on that. And occasionally I do do the system, but occasionally I need to go through the bins and boxes cause I just, I keep too much and it's overflowing. It's time to go through and clear. So I'm doing that. I probably could get rid of more stuff, but I'm happy just to clean it for the moment. I found a few things to get rid of, um, but everything is clean and put away-ish and I can find things. There are some things I don't use and probably won't often going forward. Like, this is the vintage case that goes to my manual typewriter. But that doesn't mean I wanna get rid of it. I do also have some, let's see, plastic sterilite drawers up here I'm not using. 
I have a few art bags I'm not using at the moment, but I like to switch things up now and then. And I like to be able to pick from my stash in here to do the sort of revamping of the daily drawing bag, travel art bag, the art room, sometimes the bathroom, the kitchen. So I have a few things I'm gonna get rid of, but most of it just needed to be put away. That works. All right, on to the next. Okay, so I have been uh, filming a couple of slow stitch videos today. I don't know right now until I edit the vlog if I've talked about that yet or not. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, um, so I'm editing them right now. I also unexpectedly cleaned out and organized my selection of interfacing and cotton batting and things that I use for sewing and slow stitching because I was looking for something and I couldn't find it and that led me to clean and reorganize. You get the picture, holy cow. <laughs> anyway, now I need to finish laundry because I think laundry is still working and I think I have another load that needs to go in the wa wash maybe. And I need to do the dishes because I've been just doing, dealing with other stuff and ignoring chores. I also really, really need steps today because I only have like 1800 right now. So waiting for Mr. Man to get off of work and he's going to go with me tonight. So I think first I need to get a picture of the sunset. I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm up here checking on the computer. I was loading video when we went out walking. We've had dinner. It's just before eight o'clock. I think Bob's gonna make some chocolate chip cookies for dessert. Um, anyway, I think I told you all, my mother-in-law who's 90, well, I might not have, I don't remember now, so. <clears throat> Fun fact, I hate watching myself on video. <laughs> so the editing process is always such a joy for me. Um, just before Christmas, my mother-in-law got COVID. She's 92 years old. Um, she made it through. Um, she was just fine. But then shortly after that, she fell and broke her hip. That put her in the hospital and into care and was a long recovery process for her. And there were complications and she's going to be okay. She's home now, but she's home now with care. Um, and the point is she's home now. She's getting better. She's got people coming in, checking on her and she's going to be okay. Then I find out today that my mom, my mom, um, who was uh, about 10 years younger, uh, has been falling evidently a lot for at least a week. My dad and mom didn't say anything to anybody and she fell and hit her head. So she went to the hospital today. She's gonna be okay. They didn't find um, any head injury or anything like that. They found some things that need treating that may be the cause of why she's falling. Um, but they're treatable, but it's just so hard because like nobody could go in with her um, except, you know, well, I guess they let my dad in to check her in, but it's just, oh, you guys, it's just so, it sucks. Anyway, both moms are going to be okay, but it's been tough and it's been tough because, you know, you can't get in there when they're in the hospital to go bring them so much as a magazine. Yeah, it sucks. So anyway.
Thursday, February 11th, 10, 11, 10 a.m. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad. It's right there. Um, been, <clears throat> it's just been a slow morning. I did a little painting just now. If you are watching this, you saw that clip. Um, got the idea for putting words over the watercolor paintings or incorporated into the painting somewhere from a video I watched this morning from Yellow Melly and I will link her channel down in the video description. She's a very talented artist. I would recommend checking her out. I use words a lot in my art as you know, um, usually writing them in or collaging them in. I never thought to like paint around the words. I don't know why I never thought that but she does a great job with these little landscapes. I'd recommend watching that video. It's one of her latest videos. So anyway, I thought I'd try it this morning in my lips journal, and I like the way it turned out. Uh, the lips I used, the inspiration photo, I think is my friend Lisa Swank, who has a YouTube channel. Um, I'll try to remember to link the channel below. I've got a couple other journals to work on, including I need, um, the one that I'm doing the mission inspirations in. I'm debating whether I want to do it before I go eat lunch or after. I don't know. Okay, I had to put my coat on to come out and take the garbage out and go get the mail because it's starting to rain and it's hard rain, the rain hurts. So I'm guessing it's getting ready finally to snow or hail or something because we're expecting a cold front and it is cold out here, even for me. So anyway. Okay, I've turned the computer off for the day. I got three journal, three? Yeah, three journal pages done today. And I um, did one of them making marks on the page with some found and DIY mark making tools I had. And I used my mini, one of my little small jelly plates 
to um, ink, ink up the mark making tools with paint. And then bonus, I was able to make some little small mini jelly prints and um, that I think I can use in my downstairs drawing, um, daily drawing stuff that I have down here. So I'm gonna put these in the bag. Good morning, people. I have no idea what time it is at all. I don't know. It's fi Friday, February 12th, so that I know. Um, we have started last night and it's gonna last until at least Sunday. Looks like that outside. Um, I'm not sure if it's snow as much as ice. Last night it was actually like raining ice. It actually hurt when it hit your skin. We were out walking and we cut it short because it was very slippery and it hurt your skin. Um, it was the first day in a while that I got less than 8,000 steps in. Um, but yeah, I did break out the rubber spikes for my shoes in case we venture to try going out later. I do, I do own a pair of these for the bottoms of my shoes. I might need them just to go get the mail at the mailbox. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely raining ice, more ice and less snow. I had to put my snowshoe cleat things on the bottom of my tennis shoes. I think that's gonna be the thing, like for the weekend, I'm gonna just leave them on my shoes if I can. They're kind of a pain to get on and off. But they work well, it's not slippery. It's definitely not fluffy snow. <laughs> it's not super cold, but it is very white out here. So, yeah. It's a thing. Yes, we're out walking in the snow. As you know, we're determined to get our steps in. <laughs> no matter what, come hell or high water, or in this case, hell or snow. Good morning, people. It is just before 10 a.m. Saturday, February 13th. And to say we got snow and ice overnight, kind of the understatement. We got more. I don't know if it's going to start melting today or not. So I thought I'd come out and get some really cool pictures because there's some to be had. Yeah, I know my hair is wet. It's, I shouldn't stay out here too long. It'll probably freeze and break off. <laughs> Bonus free haircut. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll be so we have decided to go out for a walk. It's not lunchtime yet. We got our cleats on. We're bundled up. There's like nobody on the road because it's too snowy and way too icy. That it's crunchy underneath the snow for the, all the ice that's on the road. Anyway, I'll show you some pictures. Hang on, the neighborhood looks so pretty. Everything's just covered in white. Oh, it looks so great. Anyway, we're gonna go walk around and 
see what we can see and we'll be back. Hey guys, it is like 9.30 something Saturday the 13th. Something like that. Anyway, other than the walking, we have not done much because it is very icy outside and what road conditions kind of suck. So we've stayed home. Bob did de-ice my car and warmed up all the engines and all the vehicles. He went and knocked some snow and ice off things like the patio table and he cleared the front walkway and stuff like that. And I went through a big stack of magazines and I found some articles I want to save, some bits and pieces I want to cut out where they are that are hiding. I found an article in one of the magazines and I don't, I've ripped it out because I just want the one article. Let's see, it was from Green Crafts Magazine. And one of the artists, let's see if I can give you her name because I think it's a brilliant idea. Her name is Jennifer Tobin, and she took old gift cards and hotel room keys, and she made them into like sort of little painted inspiration cards. Are those not the cutest thing on the planet? Her name, again, Jennifer Tobin, T-O-B-I-N, look her up. I pulled the article out of the magazine because that's a brilliant idea. I have a notebook I keep up here in the office of articles from magazines I want to keep for reference and recreated my own sort of art reference magazine. Um, so these stack of articles are gonna get added. Um, I kinda had a big big stack of magazines. I have two watercolor magazines and an artist magazine um, to add to my reference up here. The magazines I just keep, anyway. All the things for the things because of the things. I think the computer's off already. Bob is downstairs watching the movie The Joker with River Phoenix? No, Joaquin Phoenix? I don't know. It's a weird movie. It's a very, yeah, it's disturbing. Anyway, I, so I thought I'd come up here and close the vlog instead. <laughs> it's been another weird week, week another, you know, for the weird decade, for the weird year. I don't know what to tell you. Mom, my mom is doing better, by the way, as is Bob's. So that's all good news. And um, we're doing what we can from where we are to help. And yeah, it's a, you know, but everybody's okay. I got my 10,000 steps in today. Let's see. 10,973. So I think what it says with my squinty eyeballs. <laughs> um, the 10,000 a day challenge is over, but I seem to be able to manage six to 8,000 on a slow day, which is amazing because my slow days in the old house in California used to be like 1,500. So yay me. Um, we're eating better too and trying to drink, drink a lot of water and all of that stuff. So <sighs> take a deep breath. Yes. All right. So. This is the part where I tell you to please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you've had a great week and that you join me here on the channel next week. There's some interesting content coming up. I think it's interesting, but if you have anything in particular you'd like to see, please leave it down in the comments below. Again, but it also if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. You can also private message me. Um, my email address should be in the video description. If you're in one of my Facebook groups, you can tag me in a post. Uh, for friends on Facebook, you can, um, or on Instagram, you can DM me over there. And we'll see what we can do. Um, if you want to support the free content here on, face on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, please think about either shopping in my Etsy shop or joining Patreon or one of the other ways you can support the free content. Uh, those links, along with my links for social, social media, if you want to follow me on Instagram or something, uh, and a bunch of other stuff, including my email newsletter, are all in my link tree list of links, which is down in the video description. The link for the art foamies that I've designed is also down in the video description. So go shop the art foamy site. 
not only for my designs, there is some fabulous new designs out there by the other artists, including the company owner, KP. So please go check them out. It's a tough year. It's a tough decade. It's been a tough year. <laughs> Let's just do what we can to get through it together. Do some arting, do some breathing, do some walking. We, if I can do it, you can do it. I know you can. All right, that's it for this week. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye guys.